Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and today is going to be a little unusual for us and what we're recording for you. It's a somber memory day. We're going to talk about our experience and our memories of 9-11. This is the first time we've ever had a YouTube channel, and when 9-11's anniversary was coming back up, we felt, you know, it was our duty to do something to memorialize 9-11. Uh, what you guys may not know is that I grew up only eight miles from the World Trade Centers. I watched them going up as a kid. They started construction on those towers when I was in the fifth grade. I was 11 years old. And we watched it. And I was in the 10th grade in high school in 1973 when it opened up. It's, it's funny, Karen, because New Yorkers, we hated those buildings. Mm -hmm. We thought they were so ugly. They're just squares. They've got no character whatsoever. But you know what? It's kind of like your family. I can talk crap about my family, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> And when those buildings went down, that was my family. Those were my ugly buildings. When I think of 9-11, the image that comes to mind is standing in the street looking up at the Twin Towers when Roy and I had flown to New York City for his 25th high school reunion. I remember the company I worked for at the time. I remember just getting in there in the office and somebody saying something. And we all turned on the news. I was in tears. And I remember sitting on the couch that morning as we lived in California and our daughter was already at school, I had taken her to school, our youngest, and come home. They were four and 17 at the time. And like, Oh my gosh, you know, let's circle the wagons, bring them home. I don't know what's happening, but this is horrible, just horrible. I mean, you're just in shock. What, what I recall was that when that first plane hit the first tower, about a quarter to nine in the morning, nobody knew what had happened. I remember this was early days of 24-hour cable news. So everybody was on there speculating. Was it a bomb? Was it a missile? Nobody had a clue. And 15 minutes later, because all the cameras were focused on that building, all the cameras caught the next airplane going into, into the, second, the, the tower. second tower. But then... We started hearing about the Pentagon. And we, then we heard about Pennsylvania, Flight 93. But the details were all missing. We just knew things were happening. And so when Karen says, okay, I'm getting my kids out of school, it's because we didn't know if this was gonna happen all over the country. Nobody knew what was going down. I just remember a, a sense of, of loss and confusion and I mean, it's probably the closest thing I've experienced to PTSD, and God bless our veterans that go through that. It's, that is just shocking to have those feelings and that sense of helplessness, and what do I do? What, what, what's happening? I don't want to put the pictures of the people who were jumping out of windows because they You'd have had a choice to burn to death or get out. I what mean, a choice. What a choice. So, uh, almost 3,000 people were killed that day. Uh, 2,753 were killed in the World Trade Towers. Of those, 343 were firemen and 71 were law enforcement. Then there was another 184 at the Pentagon mm -hmm. 
and, uh, and 40 in Pennsylvania Flight 93. In 2018, I flew to New York City for training and visited the 9-11 Memorial. Haunting to think of all the lives that were lost that day and all those that were affected by that loss. I don't know how to end this. I don't know how to close it. It's um, a good day for this one. Thunder and lightning and... I don't know. It's been... been thinking about this, having to make this video now for a few days, and it's brought me down. And seeing the memorial as I go to work each day, since the fire department set it up to acknowledge all the lives that were lost, mm -hmm for the first responders and all the others that were impacted by this. And, uh, that's what we used to start this video off. That's local. We know you've probably either yourself been impacted or know someone directly impacted by 9-11. And all we can say is God bless you. Absolutely. <laughs>